Hello, everyone. Thanks for stopping by to watch another episode here at Investing with All I See is W. Today, I wanted to make another video to share with you my insights on 10 COVID-19 related stocks that I feel can add significant value to your investment portfolio, knowing that today there is information about how reinfections can occur, where let's say, for example, you've been infected once and then you start feeling normal again. However, you can pick up with the virus by getting infected again. So that just tells you that there's more work to do and that there isn't a solution yet for this pandemic. And the way I think of it is, you know, until we start not wearing masks, that's when we actually have a solution for the cause of this pandemic. Right now, we're still in uncertainty at this time, although we do feel more comfortable knowing that we can protect ourselves wearing masks and gloves and so forth. Let's get started. But first, before I begin, I'd like to inform you that the information I'll be sharing with you should be used as guidance information only. And anytime when you do make an investment decision, please do your own research. Let's get started. Now, ticker number one I wanted to share with you first is Inovio Pharmaceuticals. Now, today with the news about Johnson & Johnson putting a hold on their clinical trials because of adverse event reporting going on, that just tells you that big companies are slowing down at this time and it's not about racing through the clinical trials because once you do that you will start noticing a lot more serious adverse events reporting as well as Eli Lilly having issues being reported and what that does is it increases the demand for small scale companies like INO and that's why I feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel and there is a demand that's increasing again and there's new information that will likely come out for Inovio Pharmaceuticals. I'm banking on the peer review of its phase one clinical trials as well as the VGX data for cervical dysplasia that will be coming out and the uplift on the clinical hold where the FDA is inquiring about more information on the associated medical device which is the Selectra device used to optimize the INO4800 once it's already delivered in intracellularly. Now, next up I wanted to share with you is iBio by the ticker IBIO. And to me, I feel like the reverse trend is here and the market sentiment is beginning to change and there is increased volume and there is potential for the INO, I'm sorry, the iBio 201 vaccine to make a big difference. And today the fiscal data on its financial results were released and it's great to see that the earnings per share beat the estimated ratings by one cent so that's a good thing for this company knowing that the finances are okay it's not burning high cash flow and that their product innovation will reflect in the share price where i believe the share price can go up to the eight dollar share price range coming soon now next up i wanted to share with you is sorrento therapeutics and to me this is a multi-purpose company with varying product innovations and the company is fur furthering its clinical studies in mesochymal stem cell program to its pipeline and they are also awarded today for its antibodies where it received patents for their technology and the financial data was recently released today and one of the downsides was that it dropped by about 13 percent but let's say if you have a higher cost dollar average and you believe in this company then i say just continue to invest because this CEO has so many things in place and it has a robust product portfolio where it can it can live in the long term. I feel like let's say if one product fails, it has another product in the pipeline that's coming out at a high efficiency rate. So that tells you that this company will mature and that the share price will definitely go up into the double digit share price range up to possibly the $20 to $30 share price range. All right, next up I wanted to share with you is ALT, Alt Immune. And this company is making an intranasal COVID-19 related vaccine and they're preparing for phase one clinical trials at this time where they're working with the University of Alabama to advance its candidate for the COVID-19 called the ADCOVID. And it's a potential single dose vaccine with amazing storage requirements where you don't have to like have it like chilled by a freezer so that just shows that there's a company that is working on a nose 
delivery vaccine and no other company has that right now so that just tells you that this company may be monopolizing how you can just inject yourself intranasally now next up i wanted to share with you is co-diagnostics by the ticker CODX and this company is a molecular diagnostic company with unique mathematical approach to DNA design with high accuracy sensitivity testing making detection of infectious diseases and genetic disorders more affordable all around the world and I feel like CODX a company based out in Utah can definitely continue to increase in its share price and let's not ignore what they're doing right now and what I like about the company is it's high quality sensitivity testing. So it has less potential for false negative and false positive results when doing diagnostic testing. So I'm sure there will be an increased demand for CODX products in the future. Now, next up I wanted to share with you is Vaxart by the ticker VXRT. Now, this company is the only company that is working on an oral medication. They have a pre-approved product called the VXA v 2 one where they recently had just dosed all 40 healthy patients in phase one and according to the CEO Andrea Floro he stated that the company is, is looking forward to receiving the first clinical data results in the next few weeks so it's this is exciting news for VXRT where it's also part of the operation warp speed at least where it got support for its animal studies and I feel like this company is moving very smoothly through the phase process and we may potentially see product approval in the future for Vaxart with this oral medication. Now next up I wanted to share with you is Novavax by the ticker NVAX. N-V-A-X. Now the company just recently is edging up for possible COVID-19 and flu combination vaccine and there's just solid gains with this ticker right I mean before the COVID-19 pandemic it was hovering at like the low ten dollars and now it's up to like 120 and the nano flu data is currently in phase three while they are working on a COVID-19 vaccine at this time and remember that Canada has already loaded up on its future COVID-19 vaccine even though it hasn't even been approved yet so that just tells you there's an increased demand for products that will be coming out from Novavax and I do foresee that the share price can go up to like 170 even before product approval. Next up I wanted to share with you is VBI vaccines by the ticker VBIV. So today the share price had gone up close to like 7-8% which is a good thing. It passed the $3 share price range and previously the share price was hovering at the $6 resistance and it's been just tapering down and I feel like there can be a positive upward trend coming for VBIV and on October 18th the company announced an e-poster presentation at the liver meeting where they signed their three antigen prophylactic hepatitis B vaccine at the American Association for the Study for Liver Disease. And today the ticker climbed up and I'm just banking that the company will continue to go up with its share price. And what I see with this company is a quality based company with already produced commercialized products. For example, it's Hep B vaccine that is currently being used all around the world at this time and they're also working on a tumor related and COVID-19 vaccine that will come into play in the future so I feel like this company will continue to scale up and let's not ignore what this company is doing based out in Massachusetts. Now next up I wanted to share with you is ABIO. This ticker is focused on precision medicine where they're working on a product called AB201 and it's related to RNA PC2 potential treatment for the COVID-19 and I really like this company because they're hurtling through the clinical trials process with uh, change management going on and they're also working on a candidate named Gencaro which is a beta blocker for the prevention of atrial fibrillation and for those of you who don't know what atrial fibrillation is that's a cardiac disease for for patients who have abnormal heart rhythms let's say if you have a, a normal heart rhythm well atrial fibr fibrillation is this quivering of your ventricles where your heart cannot contract adequately where you have normal QRS complex where you have just adequate blood flow going through your arteries and veins and this is so great because 
cardiovascular disease is one of the biggest number one leading cause of death. And let's say if you don't have these type of medications in place, the end result would be that patients would need implantable cardioverter defibrillators or pacemakers in the end to protect themselves from, from atrial fibrillation. And these are some potential solutions to prevent even having to get to that end stage of getting a medical device. That's why I feel ABIO can definitely hover up the double digit share price range. Just knowing that this company is coming out with the AB201 that has promising potential solution for COVID-19. Now, the last ticker I wanted to share with you is Heat Biologics by the ticker HTPX. And they have a pre-approved vaccine that is called the GP96 that can potentially receive news soon where it enters phase one clinical trials. And I believe all investors are hoping for that information. And they had just issued additional patent on its GP96 combination platform therapy with T-cell co-stimulator. So that's just great news knowing that there's these scientific pathways that's getting patented that's related to the COVID-19 pandemic. And I feel like these are data experiments that can be supported to get enrolled into phase one clinical trials. So the FDA will find this information valuable where there's clinical benefits as opposed to risks. And that's one of the reasons why FDA will allow for a company like HTBX to evaluate its pre-approved vaccine in phase one clinical trials. And the CEO of HTBX is currently talking about new approaches to COVID-19 hidden breakthroughs with its uh, T-cell co-stimulator. So that's just exciting news. And currently the share price is hovering in the 120 range and can it go up to $3, $5, $10? It can definitely break through that. Now, overall, these are the 10 tickers I wanted to share with you. And I hope that these tickers as well as the information I share with you added value to your current thinking. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe below for more related content. And let's say if you have any questions in particular with these stocks or any inquiries, please feel free to comment below and I'd love to get back to you and respond uh, when I'm available. Thank you so much for watching another episode here at Investing with All I See is W. Thank you.